So. I, so. I, I will escape if you do like that. I cannot uh, speak anymore. So the first day I was really emotional or really stressed, I don't know, and uh, I opened. Today I have nothing written, so I will do a lot of error, English error, sorry. But you should understand me. And uh, second, Andrea, please come here, because I, I, I have only half brain today. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'll be my other half when i not able to find the word. And you are more, more showman than me, so come on. <laughs> So, thank you <laughs> to be here, to, to everything. You are a really amazing community. I think I spoke with a lot of people from the provider and say, hey, it's amazing. When on Wednesday, when we ask you to go out, in 10 minutes you was all go out, went out. And probably because I told you about bar, okay, but. <laughs> This was a good, uh, good way. So let's see. Someone asked me how many people. So these are the numbers. I have to tell you that I'm really happy about that. But I was thinking that we could reach an higher number especially for what I understood from last year, that there was like 1,800 people. So I was not expecting all of them on site, but at least online could... I was thinking about 1,100 here and 400 or 500 online. But we started speaking about 800 people with the provider and everything. So I'm really happy. And uh, I think that we did a good job because bringing here more than 1,000 people, it's fine, really completely fine. And uh, yeah, so for this number, what is missing for my point of view, it's all, or most of the low-income countries. We tried to do our best to bring them, uh, at least online, there was really few people. We uh, decided to give different ticket price. Uh, if you are coming from low-income country, you pay less, and if you are coming from high-income country, you pay more. We made the Black Friday, thanks to Maria to invite, inventare, to <laughs> invent. Okay, invent, invent that. And uh, so we should work to improve and to have less differences. So we should be able to bring also people from uh, low-income countries in this conference, online, on-site, it's more or less the same because they can learn and uh, see this beautiful presentation that you did I wasn't able to attend none of them, at least three keynotes. But uh, I will try to look in the future on YouTube and on TIB portal. So you already saw the number about presentation and the workshop. These are the number of the streaming. Uh, we checked and last year there was 700,000. People, uh, online views, and we did only 3,200. 3, and also the streaming hour was more. What is, was really beautiful that this morning, hundreds of you joined for the first time the online uh, view. <laughs> so probably you was in the bed with your computer on the stomach looking at the presentation. Sorry, sorry for Wednesday, sorry for the speaker, and sorry for the attendee. We make a wrong analysis of the number. 
and we had to take first a bigger room. But when when we start to make this analysis about the number where people could go and uh, all the stuff like that, we were thinking about 800. And after when we reached 1,000, we did not do again the, the this analysis. But I think that we worked in a fast way, and at least for Thursday and Friday, you got more spaces, and uh, the presentation went well. I, I was really stressed when I saw the first session that was completely full everywhere, and the people uh, walk around, and uh, yeah, we ran a little bit, but uh, with the help of the provider and the venue, they, uh, they fixed it. OGIA GM, after the closing session there will be the OGIA GM, is open to everyone. Also, if you are not a charter member, you can join us and tell what you think about the topic that will be out. And uh, yeah, so everyone can stay here. We have a uh, out of seat and uh, nothing. Just because someone asked before that uh, if they can stay for the AGM. For tomorrow, and Sunday, there is the code sprint. Uh, someone of you wrote an email to the info dot uh, something uh, email uh, complaining that they cannot register. No problem, you can join uh, as usual without any problem. That is just to have an idea of how many people uh, is going to join us to prepare the food and the drinks and all the stuff that you need to, to survive. So. For the people that have the access to the wiki page, you can go there and, uh, and add your name. And this will uh, help us for tomorrow and Sunday. Sorry. Now, I want to invite on the stage one person. And when uh, the first day I, uh, we started to do, no, wait, wait, sorry. Aria, wait. There is a person before you. <laughs> and uh, Cristiano came to me and said, hey, there is an amazing uh, girl that for the first time went outside his country for the phosphor G. He has to take a passport. He was uh, really excited and uh, maybe also a little bit stressed as I was in the Wednesday morning. So I asked her to come here and she say yeah immediately and I, I hope that she will be inspiring you and some other people for the future uh, conference to, to attend it, to speak in public and so so please let me come here. Buongiorno. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Latwin Pondo from Zimbabwe. I am an undergrad at Midland State University. I'm, sub I'm studying uh, Slovenian geomatics. So this is actually my first uh, <laughs> international conference, my first Phos4G. First time on a plane and first time out of my country. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm actually one of um, the first 4G grantees. And um, first of all, I'm really thrilled to be here today. Uh, honestly, I'm a bit terrified. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of you here. So, little, so many little tiny faces <laughs> all looking at me. But yeah, uh, here I am. So when Luca asked me to uh, share the stage with him, I was very, very excited. But then after a moment, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna tell these people? 
what am I going to say? <laughs> but oh, I'm here, you're going to listen to what I'm going to say. <laughs> so, um, I am the National Point of Conduct for Women in Geospatial in Zimbabwe. Um, I initiated the Youth Members Chapter in Greater Zimbabwe. I am also a co-lead for the Volunteer Community Surveyor Program for International Federation of Surveyors, and I'm also the Administrator for Secretariat for Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, uh, personally, I'm really sensitive about uh, gender gap issues, so I work on bringing um, more women into the community. The initiative is called She Speaks Special. She Speaks Special, which is a branch of African Surveyors Connect, which is mainly focused on the youths. So, yeah, that's part of what I do. Uh, so before Force 4G, I didn't know much of the entities that are here, uh, the associations and the companies. But now, I've learned so much, and uh, apart from using many more new tools in our local initiatives, I'm, going, I'm looking forward to share with my community all the knowledge that I got here in our projects and also in my personal projects. Um, above all, I love meeting so many new people, making new friends, making new connections, and after all, that's what this community is all about. Um, I, love Florida, I, love, I love Florence, uh, the social event, <laughs> I danced. For the, maybe for the first time in my life, I danced yesterday. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, visiting museums, um, sightseeing, and all that stuff. Florence is very beautiful. And um, I really hope you all enjoyed this conference. And all the grantees here, I hope you are all happy. And um, so thanks to Luca and everyone else who has worked to organize this and made it possible for me and the other grantees and bringing us together all as a community here in Florence. Thank you. So, yeah, you already saw the next slide. So I will leave the the stage to Anita and Ariel, and for our annually Sol Katz Award. Thank you, Luca. <laughs> So, as you already saw, it's now time for, to announce the Soil Cuts Award 2022. This is actually the 18th time that we are awarding this uh, great award. Um, and our tradition is that every year, the last year's recipients give away the award to the new winner. And this year, Ariel and I have the honor to do it. And Ariel is here for Malena, who was last year's winner. But sadly, as you surely remember, she passed away before she could receive the award. So thank you very much, Ariel, for being here in her stead. The Salt Cuts Award for Geospatial Free and Open Source Software is awarded annually by OSGEO to individuals who have demonstrated leadership in our great community. The award, as many of you certainly know, is named after Solomon Stewart Cuts, also known as Salt Cuts for short. And he was a really early pioneer of our community. He left behind a large body of work in the form of applications and format specifications and all kinds of utilities. Actually, all the way back in the 1980s, uh, Sol already assisted in the development of a public domain GIS package called MOS, which stands for Map Overlay and Statistical System. And this was arguably the, the first open source GIS software in the world. He was one of the first involved in public transla data translator utilities, for example, for converting DMs and reading SDTS files, and he contributed them back to the geospatial community, and they're still available today. In fact, if you're curious, the source code that lives now in the MOS repository on GitHub, it is part of the OSGEO Heritage archives, 
and is still open for everyone to re reuse and build upon. Sol was a frequent contributor to many geospatial list servers, providing a lot of guidance to a geospatial community at large, and he was a great person, always full of laughter and good humor. Sadly, after fighting non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, he died in 1999, but his legacy still lives on in the GFOS world. So with this award, we both acknowledge the work of community members and we pay tribute to its, one of its founders. And some weeks ago, we asked our community to make nominations for outstanding members of our community. And then the former recipients, they vote, voted on who would receive the award. And of course, that means that we have a new winner. And I will pass now on to Ariel to announce the winner for this year, 2022. Hi everybody, this year is representation of the low person that is no with this anymore, Malena. So let's see if you can guess uh, who the winner is. The person is very passionate for support. The person is alone to develop the for several projects. The person is involved as the core developed in POHIS and HIUS and all contribution to QHIS. And, and Finn? No? 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 Ah, okay. Uh, they are great value for us HIO. The person is the member of HIO administration committee. Maybe some people don't know this person's name, but the certain count the are four letter next man. One, two, three, four. So now in nice be obvious, no? No? Oh, okay. And so one for Italy and the winner is uh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Please, <laughs> Sandro Santini. <laughs> Sandro? <laughs> no round, no round. Hello. As long, please. Thank you. It's emotional. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know what to tell, I didn't uh, expect this. <laughs> uh, so first of all, thank you for, to all the ones who uh, decided to grant me this uh, honor. It is a great honor for me to receive this uh, recognition. And I, I would like to dedicate this uh, to all the ones who preceded me in uh, sharing the software, because that's uh, the only reason why I keep doing this. Uh, I, I, would, I learned a lot of things by others, and this is, would be only possible with free software. And there is someone in particular I would like to thank, which is David Blasby. I had never met him, but I know he's, in, he's in this conference, he, uh, if someone can point me at him at some point, because I, I would like to handshake him. <laughs> yeah, he's probably. Well, David wrote the postgis basically from scratch. So uh, more, many of you know me for the postgis work, but uh, I just took over the work started by him. So. I really want to thank him for, uh, for the work he did. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, there are so many other names I could make, but it would be very, very uh, many, so uh, I wouldn't know where when it would never end. But what I want to say is that uh, I really think that it's very important that we continue sharing the software, because in the last years, what, I, what, what it's happening is that uh, I, I see a diaspora of people going, uh, moving from free platforms to proprietary uh, platforms, and it's a pity because it's something that uh, prevents us from learning how things get done, how things work. So for convenience, we are using tools which would never be inspectable or uh, shareable by us, uh, like, uh, I don't know, just, just to name something very recent, uh, uh, maybe m many of you know IRC as a protocol for chat, uh, and that's what we have been using, what I've been using since the, uh, since 95, I think. And it's uh, an open protocol for, uh, uh, for real-time chat, and that's where I met most of these people, when, where I've been uh, discussing uh, development issues, how, how things work uh, internally, and uh, nowadays maybe are leaving that solution to join proprietary platforms like Slack or Discord. So I was very happy to see the Venueless is actually free software, it's a good software. I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't care what I like and what I don't like, but <laughs> but I just recommend you to um, to be an actor in this community because uh, many times. Uh, I see people uh, trying to push other people into using free software. I usually say, I don't care if you use or not use free software. I actually care if you contribute or don't contribute to free software. Because free software is something that is owned by each one of us. So uh, if you contribute to it, you're helping me. And when I contribute to it, I'm helping you. It's just a shared asset that we build together and it doesn't suffer from what's called the tragedy of the common, I think it's called. That situation in which things which are owned by everybody gets ruined by use because there is no clear responsibility. Well, in software, this doesn't really happen because uh, the software doesn't degrade, uh, degradate. Hmm? It get, doesn't get ruined, usually. It just gets better. For example, uh, in this room there is uh, uh, Rob Savoy. Hello, Rob. <laughs> I, I've been... I met Rob for the first time in 2006. Uh, 2006, he was in uh, F4G 2006 in Lausanne. He came to meet me because uh, because I joined his project for a free software Flash player, okay? And uh, so I've been working on GNU Gnash for a couple of years, and uh, I was concerned that nobody would recognize me anymore after two years, and the software maybe would just uh, get ruined. As if I, I thought I was indispensable. Where? Well, I was not, of course, luckily, because free software doesn't work that way. I've been away for two years, and the software actually got better. So thank you <laughs> to, <laughs> to the ones who continued uh, developing it. Uh, and this is the good thing about, about free software. This is not something that happens with proprietary systems. So I just want to tell you, just beware about what, what you use today, because it could disappear any time, for example. just. Just to, to make this example, the Flash player, uh, the Flash technology was killed by someone uh, who owns half of your uh, mobile phones. His name is Steve Jobs, I think. He said, Flash is crap, and so uh, the technology died just because one man said something about it. Well, this is not something that happens when you're using uh, 
free software. So please uh, try to think ahead and let's use open protocols and open specification and uh, free software. And that's all. Thank you. I'm really proud about the Italian community. We got the third Soul Cats, and we have other half one because Marco stayed in Italy for a long time. So, <laughs> and for uh, some uh, technical technical reason, we will skip the first uh, announcement and we go immediately to the next year Phosphor G, International Phosphor G announcement, and after we will come back for the other because uh, the the people. I have to do some call, so... Hi, I'm Basford, Chair of Phosphor G 2023. And I'm Grace, part of the local organizing committee. We are very excited to announce that the 2023 Free and Open Source for Geospatial Conference, Phosphor G, will be hosted by Flask in Prizren, Kosovo. This annual event is one of the largest global meetings on geospatial software of the year. It is organized by the Open Source Geospatial Foundation. Our team has already started working to live up to Kosovo's hospitality and bring together the Phosphor G community in a city that is small but has a very, very big heart and a big cultural scene. Besides facilitating workshops, lectures, networking opportunities and knowledge exchange, we are also planning to for loads of parties and fun events to make sure that apart from growing the open source community will get to have fun and enjoy the spirit of prison. We welcome you here next year and cheers to that. Cheers. Hi, Bathford. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. The stage is for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, every, everybody, and sorry that I couldn't make this year to be in Fiorenza together with you. I hope you had a great experience and the conference uh, together. And I would like to, to thank Luca as well um, for giving me the opportunity to invite everybody uh, in prison officially. Uh, so, yeah, uh, everything will be prepared very, uh, very soon and everything will be published on the site. Uh, so please follow us and uh, get more information uh, soon. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Bashford. I... So you will have uh, my support for help you in uh, organizing your conference, because usually the previous chair try to help the next one, because it's, it, it will be an hard work, you know? Yeah, and, and we are uh, prepared for that. Yeah, and the last month will be your main job, or your, yeah, main job. You, you will be working all the day long for this beautiful conference. Uh, from uh, giving an answer to what you said already, uh, it's not the first conference that we bring to Prizren and the ITP in the location. Uh, many of people, I mean some people uh, in 2019, they was present uh, in, in Prizren and I think they can uh, share with the rest of the people uh, the information that they have for the city uh, and uh, as well uh, I understand the, the, the work that we need to do uh, in the, basically in the last months. Yeah, and what I can tell you is a news that uh, I'm going to propose to Algeo a new working group for the conference. And uh, I already have two members can, that they can help us to, to be, uh, to, not to be able to uh, create a wonderful conference also there. Here we had uh, help from several uh, uh, entities 
<laughs> and so, we are really, yeah, someone else is coming inside. Sorry? No, we, they are laughing because they are behind you, some people are coming and going. Yes, the <laughs> idea the is that office. We, just, we just finished the training here in our office and then we are uh, having plenty of people inside and moving outside because they f finalized everything. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, we will t keep in touch for the next uh, weeks. La next week I will be a little bit off. Yeah, but, I can uh, after that I uh, will be available again. Great. Let's so, be in touch. Okay. And thank you. And thank you for for the proposal because otherwise we don't know how to manage it. Yeah. No problem. Very welcome. <coughs> thank you and bye bye. Bye bye. So see you soon. Now, we come back to, sorry, you already saw the slide, but I will invite some people on the stage, and the first one is uh, Alex Late. so the microphone is for you. Thank you. Thank you, Luca. So I want to acknowledge, with deep respect, the Muanina people, the traditional owners of um, the land that I travelled from. The Muanina people cared for and protected country for thousands of years. I pay my respects to elders, past, present, to the many Aboriginal people that did not make elder status and to the Tasmanian Aboriginal community that continue to care for country. I'm Alex Leith. I'm the treasurer of OSGO Oceania, which is the local chapter for OSGO and also a local chapter for OpenStreetMap. And we have an event coming up at the end of November this year in Fiji called the Pacific Geospatial Conference. This is a combination of our local Phosphor-G State of the Map event that we've been running for four years. This will be the fifth one. And the Pacific GIS and Remote Sensing Conference, which has been running in the Pacific for about 20 years. So this will be a lovely community event, and I'd like to invite you all to come to the other side of the world where I come from and uh, join us for this event. And thank you for having me here in Florence. And on behalf of the Oceanians, thank you, Luca and Bianca, and the rest of the organising committee for putting on such a fantastic event. So the next one is coming from Firenze, and uh, he will introduce the conference. Is not really. In it's not one of the Phosphor G community, but it's uh, related to our, what we do. And uh, so I have the pleasure to introduce you, Andrea Maziero. Thanks, Luca, and also thanks to all of you for this great conference, and also for giving us the opportunity to announce uh, the next SIMPA symposium next, that is going to be next uh, June, so in June 23, here in Florence. So just a few words on SIPA. SIPA is a joint committee between ISPRS and ICOMOS uh, focused on cultural heritage documentation. It has a long tradition since it has been founded in the 60s and it is a bridging the gap between users and special data providers in the field of cultural heritage. The symposium is organized every two years and the previous one was being China, has been in China in 2021 but it has been virtual because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. While next year in 2023, it is going to be year uh, in Florence. Uh, the title of the 2023 symposium is Documenting, Understanding and Preserving Cultural Heritage, Humanities and Digital Technologies for Shaping the Future. So given the future of the Phosphor G conference, I, was, I would like to stress on the cross-disciplinarity of the SIPA Symposium, as it also shown by the special session on open source data software and tools for cultural heritage that we hope will attract the interest of many of you. So we will be pleased to welcome you again in Florence next year uh, for the SIPA Symposium. 
So thanks for your attention. It has been a pleasure to meet you here and hopefully see you here again uh, uh, in Florence. So have a safe travel back home. Um, many thanks and uh, see you soon. Thank you. There should be a session for open source software at the SIPA. It, it's not really confirmed, but there are really strong positions about the organizer to have it. So let's see. So the next one in, is uh, Shangi. Where are you? Please. Hi everyone, I am from South Korea, and then the, I would like to say two things first. At first, I'm not the chair of Postpoji Asia 2023, and I do not live in Seoul anymore. I'm not a Seoul citizen. However, so it's very strange situation because I was asked to promote this conference here because I'm Korean. I'm South Korea, not North Korea. So. <laughs> So next year, uh, post Asia 2023 will take place in Seoul uh, from the end of the November to the beginning of December. So please come to Seoul. Uh, for that, you need to mark your calendar and you need to save your money and please fly to Seoul and then share your passion with other people in Asia. Thank you so much. See you in Seoul next year. So oh, now we'll start a really long session of acknowledgement because a lot of people, I'm the front man and it's what I don't like. I prefer to work in the backstage, making everything stuff working and this is not my, my work, but so let's start. First, our partners, we already thanks them in the opening session and I want to thanks again the European Commission especially because I think that having them as partner is really strategic for the conference and for the all. So obviously the same is for the European Special Agency and uh, Wikimedia is a Wikimedia Italia is really important for uh, the Italian local community because we share the experience of uh, Phosphor-G Italia. And finally, but not the less important, is the University of Florence because they, they did a great job. They helped us to providing you the space for uh, the workshop and it was amazing. Yeah, sorry for the small problem with the internet connection, but sometimes it happens. And they provide the space for SOTOM, they provide the space for all the side events, and they will provide also the space for the cold sprint. So please, Vale, Andrea, Erika, again, came on the stage. Come on, come on. Especially Valentina was uh, the most important part of the university because when we start we, we say that uh, yeah there will be two book some rooms and that will be the only job that we will do and after uh, she had to make a lot of jobs different to also traveling the car to take uh, stuff from the provider and she do she did a very 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 good job Thank you very much, Valia. So, the next should be the sponsor. I already talked about the sponsor in the opening and I want to thanks again them. Because without them, you cannot pay this high price. I know, it's high. To cover all the costs that we have, we, we cannot put less cost than 400 euro. And they help us a lot. So thanks 
Thanks to Geocat, thanks to GeoSolution, thanks to Google. <laughs> thanks to CampCamp, Camp, thanks to MapTyler, Address Cloud, Qfield Cloud, the OpenGIS, uh, GH, GH. And then all the bronze that were really a lot, Lutra, Jobion, Gitter, Gis Trivu, Last Tools, Faunalia, uh, R3Gis, EOX, Hydrology, Scan, Blue Sky Analytics, Surfball, Oslandia, Locana, Zavea, Geo, Meta, Elastic Planet, Astro Technology, and Youth Mappers. Thank you, El. <laughs> Thanks to the supporter. There are really smaller company or new Inca, new company that they want to try. So thanks to Gaia 3D, thanks to Neratech, Kaplan, Mundialist Terrestris and Quartile. Thanks to you. <laughs> Our patronage. They help us also giving some space, some uh, accommodation, and so there are uh, at patronage at uh, Italian level or regional level, so there are ministry, there are region and uh, province, so they support us somehow. They probably trust on us. We, we did a good job and we have to continue to uh, work with them, especially the Italian community, of course. And so, thanks to you. Our <laughs> and uh, also our media partners, because they help us to, to share the voice of Phosphor G. And so, thanks to Locate Press also for the books. Some of you I won uh, 12 books. There was some uh, prize yesterday night. I was not really clear, sorry. And, but uh, the result is that one. Some of you took some free books. And uh, Mapscaping, that uh, he, he was here around for the first time at the Phosphor Chi, and he really was really happy because he, he can meet new people to interview in the future. And uh, we will try to continue this partnership also the next year. So. He provides us a, a, a slot on uh, his uh, podcast to promote the, um, the conference. Andrea did a good job uh, with him. So the other is Open Geoscience, Remote Sensing, Geospatial World, and uh, ESPRS, which uh, is uh, the association where the uh, academic track paper will be published. So thanks to them also. Now, so, thanks to Conference Convention Bureau. They are the main actor if we are here, because without they, probably there should not be the Phosphor G 2022 in Florence. I never start something like that without someone that was pushing me, and they did. <laughs> After that, I'm, please, come on. You did a really great job. We save us a lot of email and a lot of stuff to do, and thanks. I, I think that you enjoy this conference. It, it is a Especially little... yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much. You did an incredible job, uh, job and uh, I, we really appreciate it. Thanks. You are a very, very kind and nice people, let me tell you, honestly. Thank you very much.
e poi chiamano tutti su, dai. Firenze Fiera, is the place where are you? Come on, come on. Thank you very much. Eh? Sì, certo, tranquilla. And so they are the owner of the phrase. You did a really good job. And uh, they, yeah, <laughs> it was my office at the top roof of this place. It was really amazing. And yeah, if you didn't go yet at the Belvedere room, went there before leave the, the palace, because it's incredible. And uh, yeah, so thanks a lot. The space was really great. I think that uh, everyone uh, enjoyed the, the villa and uh, the new Palafari. We was the first one and uh, everything is good. Yeah. So thanks. Do you want to say? I just want to say it was a real pleasure to have you here. I have met Luca four years ago, it was 2018, so we've been waiting four years to host you and we're really, really glad you're here. You've been here and you've been, uh, I hope you've been uh, enjoying your stay in our venues. We want to thank the catering for all the good food. It seems that you enjoy it. <laughs> so, good. And uh, yeah, you can see the, the food was not trashed. So we also did something for, for some, uh, someone else. Is, uh, I think that is in our behavior or in our mind to help the other. And uh, we do with software, but we can also do in some other way. <laughs> and the studio vision, Max, come on. Yeah, 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 come on, come on. Ah, si, si, anche te, vieni su, vieni su anche te. Eh, ma ha ragione. He's worried, and uh, he has some uh, motivation to be worried. <laughs> Stay there, huh? Someone of you complain about the PowerPoint, the PDF stuff, okay? <laughs> you have to complain with me. But I, now I tell you why. You don't have to complain. Because uh, we was used to have an on-site conference. And uh, you go there, attach your cable, your computer to the uh, FGA or HDM, uh, HDMI cable, sorry. And uh, the projector is there and you can uh, uh, show your slide on the projector. This year it was a little bit different. We have the on-site, but we have also the online. And uh, we had to do a choice or follow the suggestion, suggestion, or do what we do like to do. So take the computer, take another computer to stream, and manage by ourselves. I cannot do that. I cannot uh, work for a couple of hundred people and be sure that everything works fine. They say, if you trust on me, everything will be fine. And I think that the online session was good. You, you could uh, do your presentation also with uh, HTML and more or less with all the system that you want. So please don't complain and probably for the future it will be like that. You cannot, uh, something, COVID something changed and this is one of the stuff that is changed. I, I complain too. 
I don't like PowerPoint. I will never use PowerPoint before. But if I have to do a choice, I trust on them and they say, okay, for a good reason, I could do that. I will use my open source software, LibreOffice, and after I have to convert to PowerPoint. That's all. So, thanks, Max. Thanks for everything. Sorry? Google Docs also works. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so, volunteers. When uh, we start the conference, I was speaking with Lorenzo and say, how I will bring, uh, I don't remember, 20 hostess. I, I say, why 20 hostess? Ah, yes, one for each room and the people have to sign. No, no, we have volunteers. Ah, you cannot trust on the volunteers. I think then that now he trusts a little bit more, but you have to find the right person and, and find the right uh, community and people that are managing them. So please, if you are a volunteer, come on stage. <laughs> Don't be shy, come on. Thank you. You did a very really good job. The first day, you, some of you was in delay, in delay, but after that, you arrived always on time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I complain every time. But, eh? Uh, I'm close. I, I was close to the French, but. But if you don't complain, you cannot get a sausage like this one, so. Travel grant. We was able to bring here only 25 people. We could do better, we could do worse, but I think that we should in the future do better. And uh, I already spoke with some some of you here to find some, some idea, some solution to improve the capability of low-income country to come to Fosforji. This year we, we also give, uh, I don't remember, uh, around the other 20 uh, grants online. We paid for them the internet co connection and uh, we give them the, the online access. So. Thanks to be here. I, I hope that you enjoy it and that you had the opportunity to, to learn something or to tell something because you, you could also be a, uh, a speaker. I know some of you was a speaker. So thanks a lot.
And now we start with my, my team. They were really great. So for the sponsor committee, please, Silvia, come here. Paolo already escaped. <laughs> So they organize the business to business, they answer to your email, they manage to get the money in the, in the budget, and they did a really good job, because if we was able to get so many sponsors, it's also their merit. Travel Grant, Cristiano, please. No, Lorenzo, stay there. Only Cristiano. <laughs> Ah, Cristiano already left. Ok, no, stai qua, stai qua, non scappare, eh. stai qua. Ok, so Cristiano did a really amazing job and uh, he was in touch with all the grantees, uh, solving a lot of problems. Ah, from, for the travel grant, we had also a big help from uh, IM Group. Daniele Piccolo made uh, an amazing job sending you all the uh, invitation letter and uh, all the, the do needed document. And uh, yeah, so it was a really hard job for them. For the code sprint and the workshop, yeah, we, are, we have the best fourth of G singer ever. Come on, Andre. Vale. Yeah, 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 come on. All the people. <laughs> Andrea is not here. He helped for the re review of the workshop and uh, also for other stuff. <sighs> we are not good in communication. I'm the worst one, probably. But uh, Federica and Salvatore did really a great job. Salvatore is not here, he has to go back at home before some uh, reason, but they worked a lot. I tell them what they have to, to publish and they was really fast every time to give you the right news at the right moment. So Fede, come on. Stay. <laughs> Stefano, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. He was really stressed, more than me. Sometimes he called me and said, hey, can you manage all this stuff? He was really stressed, and now you are more stressed, it seems. Okay, it's over, okay? For sure? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. for the website. So please, Fede, Amedeo, Enrico, come, come on stage. Thanks. Oh, we are all without the red brush salad, so I can do that. Eh? The academic track. Probably they was the people that asked me less stuff to do. They, I, I, I had to push them to tell me something. They was really amazing. They did everything alone, without any problem. So please, Marco, Maria, and Marco, come on the stage. Maria Andata. Uh, Maria already left, but you know her, so if you want to tell her something, write an email. <laughs> and thanks to all the academic talk committee that they review 100 uh, papers. Uh, 100 papers, yeah. 
and uh, review, write comment, and uh, all the stuff. So it was our job. Thank you very much. If you are in the room, thanks a lot. So, they did a great job. We, we had to review 400 papers or abstract. And uh, it was, they, all of them was really amazing. I read all the abstract, all. And when we had to start to make uh, the decision, it was really, really hard. Someone of you complained about the five minute talks. If you complain too much, next time we will come back to the 30, only 30 minutes and we will have half of the presentation. I think that five minutes is enough to show the people what you are doing. And after, if, you, if someone is interested in your topic, you can continue to discuss. So I think that it's, a, it's better to give opportunity to most, more people to speak. And this was a, a good, uh, or for my, for my uh, for our point of view, it was a good solution. We tried to balance the number of uh, presentation for each uh, authors. Some of you send like nine presentation. Don't do that, please. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so one of you. I can tell the name is Italian guy, Andrea Aime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, but you were not the worst one, and especially you are so good that most of the, your presentation was accepted because you speak about your server and uh, what else? I don't remember all the names because I couldn't make some mistake. Eh? Map store, no, I, I, I don't remember, but there was all the state of the most important uh, uh, tracks. There was someone else that are not really known in the, uh, in the community and they send like nine, six, seven paper and we refuse half of them. So if you, are a, if you want to speak next, next year, please send a couple of email. Andrea, you can continue to, uh, sorry, uh, you can continue to send uh, nine and uh, we will find a way uh, how to put uh, your presentation in the, in the session. So, uh, Bianca and Pablo, come on, on the stage. <laughs> Pablo is also the president of the, local the Italian local chapter, so if you have to say something to the Italian local chapter, write him uh, an email. And thanks to all the people that review the abstract. Some of you review more, some of review less, but all of you make something for, uh, for the general track and for choose what was the best presentation for, for this conference. And I think that all the presentation was really, really great. I didn't see them, but uh, I, can listen the vo I can listen the voice from the people uh, and uh, they say, oh, I cannot go in two different places in the same moment. Yeah, you cannot. So now, the volunteer has to be managed by someone. And uh, Anisa and Lorenzo make a really great job. If the session was in time or if, this, if you was able to find the place because there were some volunteers that uh, give uh, an help. And uh, so, please, Anisa, come on, because I have to say something more about Lorenzo. <laughs> so, when I spoke the first time with Lorenzo, I told him, yeah, you, you have only to manage the volunteers. It will be not so much work. And he say, okay, I will do that. And after the online stuff, and after, I don't remember all the, all the stuff that he did. So if the 
conference was a succeed, especially for the online part. It's thanks to Lorenzo. Thank you very much. You did a great, great job. Come on. Uh, I was thinking that it was also the co-chair for the, thanks Bianca for being able to help me when uh, I need it because uh, sometimes uh, I really need some help and I have to thank some people more <laughs> they are here, they just arrived and so thanks my family The other one is shy like me, and they cannot, uh, he will never jump on the stage. So, <laughs> Leo, sono timido come te. No? <laughs> Because it's, if this conference is a, a success for us, we mainly want to thank Luca, his family, of course, because they supported him for the huge work he did during the previous months, the previous years, because he started to think this conference four years ago, it was a mess for us. When uh, I was involved in the GeForce Association, he said, we'll do this. I said, you are crazy. You are really crazy. Because we were born in the same area of Italy, and uh, we are quite crazy guys, for sure. But uh, I did, you no, know, you are more than crazy, <laughs> okay? But uh, if this conference is a success, he is the one-man show. And so, uh, the... We want to thank him for what he did for us, for what he did for the Post4G community. So please look at. Thanks. Thanks a lot. We are a very big family, and I love you all. It is incredible. When, when I start to, to think about this conference, I, I knew that it, it, it has to be really difficult to organize it, and I can tell that it's really difficult, but it was a pleasure. <laughs> Spending night to make the stuff working uh, and, uh, and everything. A lot of people ask me, oh, are you now relaxed? Yeah, I was always relaxed. <laughs> uh, only, only on Wednesday morning when I had to come here on the stage, it was really stressed. And uh, yeah, so I think that the conference now is over. <laughs> we are really at the end. I, I think that most of you enjoy yesterday evening, but I enjoy more than you, for sure. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Ciao.